I promise to show you what is behind this Christmas tree. So let's take a look. And what will we see there? Books? Only books? I hope you're not disappointed. As you can never tell what is inside a book until you look inside. They are very special books. They are folk song books. My close friends who are watching this will probably say, Oh no, is she going to talk about Forgotten folk songs. Again? Well, yes. And maybe you will ask what are forgotten folk songs. If something is forgotten, then it's forgotten. How can you sing something that is forgotten? I can show you the bookshelf over there and as I said there are many hidden treasures there. Book songs that have been saved in written form. This means that they have probably never been recorded. There is a way to read the music saved in such a form. And this is something I like to do most of all, to turn those little black dots into music that can be heard. like to tell you my story, the reasons why I am still singing at the age of now 71, why I still have the need to record songs. One of the reasons is that I think it's not fair that so many people created folk songs, beautiful folk songs, songs with a meaning songs with beautiful melodies and people of today don't even know of their existence. Maybe if they hear them, maybe they'll like them and maybe they would like to hear some more about this. In my childhood, I lived in the United States and I was there uh, from the age of 8 to 11. I went to regular uh, public school there. Even then, I was already singing the songs I heard from my parents. And I liked all the songs, they were folk songs. But of course I was there and uh, we had some, uh, some records and there was a very special record I like to listen to a lot, and that was uh, a record by Burl Ives. And sometimes, uh, especially in your childhood, you hear things that you sort of cherish the rest of your life. Five dollars is a good one to sing. Come on, blue. Mm -hmm. Blue chest up possum up a cement tree. Blue 
looked at the boss and boss and looked at me saying, come on, Blue, you're gonna have some too.